Sub packs are a great way to enhance your texture packs, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to integrate sub packs into your texture pack. So, um, let me first quickly give a quick demonstration of what a sub pack is. So, here I have a texture pack made by me, which I've imported into Minecraft, and this has sub packs. Sub packs can be accessed via this cog over here. Um, now, I have different versions of this pack, number 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, but you can change these according to what you want, and you can also alter how many of them you have. So you can have, um, for, let's say, a thousand of these, but also just two. So let's get started, shall we? For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you already have a texture pack made up. Um, and now I do have a tutorial exactly on how you can make your own texture pack if you don't know that yet. But you know, as I said, since I already have tutorial for it, I don't feel that it's necessary to go over how to make an entire texture pack first um, before adding the sub pack. So in your texture pack, you're going to have a few files, um, obviously folders over here for everything that you change. In my case, I've got these three swords over here, and I'm just going to take these right over here. Um, I can take these in here for right now. And these are the things that I want to have in sub packs. And now I don't want to have all these three swords in the same pack, but I am going to make for this tutorial a sub pack for each one of the different swords. So um, along with the textures you have, um, you will also have a manifest file and optionally also an icon for your pack. Now um, in this texture pack, um, you will have these sub packs, of course, but you can also have a base texture. So, um, just like in a normal texture pack, anything that you want to be enabled, regardless which sub pack is on, you can just do that the normal way via the textures folder through here. That is absolutely fine. Then, um, for to create the sub packs, you want to right click. Go to new and create a new folder. You want to call this folder sub packs and make sure that all the letters are in lowercase. So I've just put my three items in the sub packs folder, but that's not going to work just yet. For each different sub pack that you want to create, you need to make a new folder. So I can make a new folder and then I need to name it something. And you can name it almost anything you want, just make sure that you follow these few rules. No capital letters and no spaces. Also restrict yourself to letters and numbers, so no special signs. Anyways, um, I can, I'm just going to call this version 1. You can use the underscore instead of a space, by the way, and then create a new one for version two, just like that. And then one last one for version three. As I said, you can call these packs anything you want, of course, within the specific rulings. And now that I have all these sub packs created, I can um, pretend that each of these are their own little texture pack. What I mean by this is let's start off with version 1. So in here, um, I want to put the iron sword. And now I can't just drag an iron sword in there. That's not going to work. Just like in here, in the regular texture pack, I have a textures folder and an items folder, and this is where swords can be placed since they're an item. Anyways, heading into sub packs, then version 1. Here, we then also need to create a folder called textures, just like so, and then create another folder 
called items. Just like so. And now depending on your what your pack changes, these folders might need to be different things. For example, blocks or particles or misc or something like that. Anyways, we can drag this iron sword into the items folder and now we're all ready to go. We're set up with version one. Now we need to do the exact same for version number two. So create a textures folder, then an item folder, um, items folder, and then in version number two, we can place our diamond sword. So now in my versions folder, I have all three of the sub packs I want. And now we are done with these. Don't worry, you do not need to put another manifest file or pack icon in these sub packs. So that's great. If you have everything inside the sub pack that you want in the sub pack, then you can head back to over here. And now we do still need to change one thing editing the manifest file. First off, you pretty obviously want to open it, and now your manifest file should look something like this. If you're wondering, I'm using Notepad++, which is a free app you can get on the Microsoft Store. And if you think this stuff is a little bit tricky, then you can just download that app and then you can make your, um, your manifest file look the exact same as this. Um, this is just how Notepad++ launches it and I really like it. Anyways, you are going to want to really, really pay attention here since a lot of things can go wrong in this step. Let me give an example. Let's, um, let's say you accidentally, for whatever reason, um, delete this quotation mark before the word description. Um, now, as you can see, it turns yellow, but um, if you don't notice that you do something like that, something as minor as deleting a quotation mark, um, or a comma, then your entire pack will not work. So you need to make sure that's all on point. <clears throat> Anyways, what you want to do is you want to find this bracket here, this closing bracket. Um, your manifest file should have that. You want to put your cursor in front of that just like so, and then hit enter so that there is now a space between that bracket and this curly bracket over here. Then you are going to want to paste something in, which you can find in the description. And I'll paste it in right now. It is this little function, well, it's not really a function, it is this little uh, line of code here. Um, there we go. Anyways, this is your sub packs. And let me just put that back a bit so you can see it a bit clearer. And this is what you should have pasted in. Anyways, now very important before we look at all of this stuff, what you want to do is you want to go to the same bracket that you went to where you hit enter and you want to place a comma right behind that. That is very, very important that you do that. As I said before, otherwise this pack will not work. Anyways, now you can look at this area that we just pasted in, sub packs. So your folder name, this needs to be the exact name of your folder. Um, make sure that these are exact. And I'm just going to use my first sub pack, which is version underscore one. You'll remember that that was my sub pack name. Anyways, now for the name. This can be anything, um, but you need to make sure that it is as, um, as with the previous things, there are no spaces in it and not really any special characters apart from the underscore. And I am just going to go with Iron Sword, since this is a sub pack that has my Iron Sword. The memory tier, you don't need to do anything with that right now. Anyways, um, probably a lot of you will have noticed, but you know, well, you know, you have three different sub packs. How does that work? 
Well, it works exactly like this. What you want to do is locate this curly bracket over here and this curly bracket over here. In Notepad++, if you're at one curly bracket with your, with your um, cursor, then it'll automatically highlight the other one. And what you want to do is you want to copy everything that's in between that. Just like this. You can take a good look at everything I've selected and then you can hit Control C. And now keep in mind you only need to do this if you have another sub pack. Then what you want to do is you want to go to this curly bracket over here, hit enter and then paste in whatever you just copied. And now once again we have the exact same thing as we did here. And now I can change a few things. So the folder name was folder version number two, if you'll remember that. And I want to change the name as well. I want the name to be diamond sword, since there was a diamond sword in there. Then the memory tier. Now this is our first sub pack and it has memory tier number one. So we don't need to change anything about that. However, this is our second sub pack, so the memory tier needs to be number two. Now that you have all that done, you can finally come to this curly bracket over here where you hit enter. And just like we did before, you just want to place a comma right behind that, just like so. And now, once again, you'll remember, well, you had three sub packs, and that's correct, and you can keep repeating this process. So hit enter, go down, um, you want to not forget the comma right over there. Then this is version number three. This was the netherite sword, so I can change that. Netherite, there we go, netherite sword, and memory tier number three. Very nice. Now, um, something to keep in mind is, um, well, I've got all my sub packs here. You can put as many as you want. You can have 10 of these. Um, just keep on, just remember to keep on changing the memory tier up one. And um, since this is my last sub pack over here, I am not going to put a comma in front of this last curly bracket. Sorry, behind the last curly bracket. It's the last one, no need for a comma here. And once you have done all that and all these sub packs are in place with the folder names exactly correct, the names edited however you want and the memory tier is good as well, then you can hit Ctrl S or go over to file to save it and then you can just hit out. And boom, you are now completely finished. So what you can do next is anything you would also do with a regular texture pack. So we can go over here to my pack, which is this. Then we can right click on it, compress it to a zip file, just like so. And then go to the dot zip part, remove the dot zip and then type in MC pack. There we go. And you should already know exactly how to do that if you watched my tutorial on how to make a texture pack. Also, by the way, if you right click on this and compress the zip file is not an option, then you need to download a program called 7-Zip and there's a link to that in the description. What this program will do is it will allow you to create a zip file. Anyways, this texture pack over here is now finished. And as you can see, it has the Minecraft grass icon. So you can simply double click on this and it will launch into Minecraft. So in Minecraft, after your pack has successfully been imported, which you should have seen up the top here, um, if it said that there was an error, you can click on the pop-up and then see what the error is. And the, the most likely thing that it's going to be is something to do with the manifest file. So please, please, please double, triple, quadruple check that. Uh, it's, it's so easy to make mistakes there. Um, it's, it's crazy, really. And as well, for your convenience, if you want it, I will leave a download of the pack I made in this tutorial in the description. So if you want to use that as a reference, then feel free to do so.
Anyways, um, to enable the pack, of course, what you want to do is go over to Settings, and then to Global Resources. And then under My Packs, it should be right over here. Anyways, we can just activate it like so. And to make sure it works, um, also to make sure that it has the highest priority, the way to see that if it's up top. Let's say there's a pack above it, then to make sure it will for sure work, just click on this arrow over here, and then it will have the highest priority. And as you can see over here, we have this cog, and we have resolution netherite sword, diamond sword, and iron sword as well. So you can select any of these, and you can always change them as well. Just keep in mind that um, you, after you have selected a new resolution, so for example, Diamond Sword, that you want to click on the check mark over here, and then select Refresh. That'll just refresh the pack, and your sub pack will work. If that doesn't work, then you might, depending on the pack and what you change, you might need to exit Minecraft, then relaunch it, and then it will work. Anyways, if you have any more questions about this, then feel free to leave those down in the comment section. Anyways, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.